Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So my friend Ken asked a question today that I thought was really important to discuss, and that has to do with our national debt. This is what we owe long-term, not our deficit, which is what we are short every single year in terms of how much revenue we bring in and what our expenses are. But this is our long-term debt. And also remember that the deficit, whatever that deficit number is, it gets added to our long-term debt. So we are at $30 trillion in debt right now. And with interest rates rising because of inflationary pressures, the amount of money that we have to pay on this interest has gone up by $300 billion. So that's interest that we are paying. Now we're at $900 billion that we have to pay on the interest, just on the interest on our national debt. And if it goes to 4%, we're going to be paying another $300 billion, which will bring us to $1.2 trillion, which a lot of people forecast is going to happen. That means that we will be paying about 25 to 30% of our tax revenue in interest. That is a surefire way to get this country in bankruptcy. So when you hear about this you know, inflationary pressures, think about what it's doing to us financially as well, not just to you personally, but to us as a country. And this makes you question when there are bills out there where we're going to spend more money who is going to pay for this? Where is the money going to come from? That's the big question. You know, a lot of people get on, you know, different politicians for not agreeing to certain spending. But both sides of the aisle are as guilty about this as the other. We cannot continue to spend money like we are, and we have to bring this debt down because that's unsustainable. My goodness, what happens when we go back to 5%? Then we're spending one and a half trillion dollars just in interest and we're not even knocking down the amount of money that we're in debt right now each year we're adding to that debt level by having a deficit each year this year we're on track to have about a two trillion dollar deficit that we're going to add to our national debt just wanted to share these pleasant thoughts with you thanks ken